Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Happy Fire Server. This is an open source fire server which you can download and install and use for free. This fire server is licensed under the Apache software license 2.0. So that's a license which you can also use for commercial use. So under GitHub you can find the GitHub page and here you can also see the license information and you can find the source code and if you check support you can find that actually commercially supported by Smile Digital Health. If you press on the documentation button you get this web page so there is quite extensive documentation and under 5.1.1 getting started with happy fire jpr server you can find a github link which leads to this page and yeah you can note that it's a different different github page and if you go back you can see that source from home happy fire project uh, this is the current home and, and they are in the progress of migrating the code base from this other repository. So anyhow on this page you can find instructions on how to install it and you have instructions on how to run it with docker. So let's follow those instructions and do the installation. You will be able to find all the links down below in the description. And um, yeah, if you're not familiar with Linux and Ubuntu, I have a video on how to install Ubuntu as well. And if you want to run Ubuntu on your Windows machine, I have a video for uh, installing VirtualBox so that you can run Ubuntu on the VirtualBox environment. So those links will be down below in the description as well. Well, let's start by copy pasting the first command here, docker pull. And yeah, well, we do need to do permission for this. Typing in my password. And it's pulling the image. But we are just pulling the latest version. Let's try that. So after the image has been downloaded, we can copy paste the next command to run well, let's add again the sudo command in front of the command and it seems to be starting up that container yeah, I waited for I don't know maybe 30 seconds or something like that and now it stopped locking up, so I think it has started up. The next thing it says that you can access it via localhost 8080. Well, actually, in this case, since we are on a Windows machine and this is a, a remote, this is actually on a different machine, but if you would be running it on VirtualBox, you just need to have the IP of the server where you're running it. So it won't be localhost in my case. Instead, it will be this 192.168.0200 for, for my case and the port 8080 since that's what we had in the run command. So let's see if we can access the page. There's a secure connection. Connection failed. Well, that's to be expected because um, I guess the default installation does not come with. A certificate. Okay, that was actually my copy paste mistake. So I had HTTPS in the URL, and if we check the instructions, it's HTTP. So let's go to HTTP and, and the same URL, and it opens up just fine. So this is how you install the Happy Fire Server. I hope I will make a next video where we will be posting some fire resources into the server. So stay tuned for that. 
hope this video was helpful. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.